This is the analog bit sensor kit from the DIY Mo, which is a bit different from the one developed by the DF robot, which I have already used in some of my previous videos explaining what is a pH sensor, its working, calibration and how to use a pH sensor to find the pH value of different liquids. I also used the DF robot pH sensor kit for measuring the water quality using the Arduino board and I also used the pH sensor kit from the DF robot in an IoT based water quality monitoring system using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. So, if you want to learn how to use the pH sensor kit from the DF robot, then I highly recommend watch my previous videos. I will provide links in the description. Before I'm going to explain how to calibrate and use this pH sensor kit from the DIY Mo. First, a few words about the sponsor of this video for sending me these high quality PCBs. This video is sponsored by All PCB. Feel free to visit their website allpcb.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files and thus order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. Besides this, you will also get a $30 coupon balance which you can use to get your first prototype order for free. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to calibrate and use this low-cost pH sensor kit from the DIY more. I started off by calibrating the pH sensor using the Arduino board. Once the pH sensor perfectly calibrated, then I started by measuring the pH value of the distilled water and displayed the values on the serial monitor. I performed a series of tests using different liquids and once satisfied, I further modified the code to display the pH value on the OLED display module. Again, I started with the distilled water and waited for around 30 minutes to check if there can be any fluctuations in the pH value. The pH value remained almost the same. Next, I added some lemon juice to the water and I was amazed with the result. As you know, the pH value of the lemon juice is 2 and the value on the display, as you can see, is almost 2. Next, I cleaned the pH sensor prop to measure the pH of the milk. For the milk too, I got the correct pH value. I also added lemon juice to check if the value will drop. As this is a getting started tutorial, I will try to explain the maximum basic things. In this tutorial, we will cover number 1. DIY more pH sensor kit pinout and technical specifications. Number 2. pH sensor calibration. Number 3. Complete circuit diagram explanation. Number 4. pH sensor Arduino programming. And finally, number 5 testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the analog pH sensor kit from the DIY Mo which is a bit different from the one developed by the DF robot. This pH sensor kit can measure pH values of different liquids with a good precision. The board contains a pair of tremors through which you can adjust the analog reading offset which I will explain while calibrating the pH sensor. I will show you the easiest way to calibrate this pH sensor without using any liquid or substance and then later we will measure the pH value of some known liquids. It has two LEDs which work as the power indicator, a pH sensor, a BNC connector. This board is also known as the sensor interface circuit. This pH sensor kit has an onboard voltage regulator chip due to which it can be easily powered up using 3.32 5.5 volt DC. Due to this wide range of input voltages, it can be used with 5 volt and 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like Arduino, ESP32 and ESP8266 
double six etc the pH sensor interface circuit is also provided with six male headers which are clearly labeled as V plus this is where we connect the 3.3 volt or 5 volt from the Arduino in my case I will connect 5 volts but if you are planning to use this pH sensor kit with ESP8266 or ESP32 then you will need to connect this pin with 3.3 volts the next two pins are the ground pins you can connect any of these two pins with the ground pin of the Arduino PO is the analog output pin which should be connected with the analog pin of the Arduino DO is the 3.3 volt DC output pin the last pin is the TO which is the temperature output out of these six pins we will only use three pins V plus ground and PO to calibrate this sensor you will need a wire to short the external part and the center of the prop connector this causes a 2.5 volts tension on the PO analog output pin I started off by connecting the external part of the BNC connector with the center of the BNC prop connector Now connect the V plus pin with the Arduino's 5 volt. Connect the ground pin of the interface circuit with the ground pin of the Arduino. And finally connect the analog output pin PO with the A0 pin of the Arduino. Connect Arduino with the laptop. This is a very basic program that we are going to use for calibrating the pH sensor interface circuit. The purpose of this program is to read the analog output pin PO and display the voltage on the serial monitor. Make sure the Arduino port is selected and also check if the right communication port is selected. Click on the upload button and wait for a while. As you can see the program has been uploaded. Now the next step is to open the serial monitor. You can see currently the voltage is around 3.31 which need to be adjusted. You know the pH value is from 0 to 14. A pH of 7 means 2.5 volts. So we are going to set it to 2.5 volts using this trimmer. Now you can see the value is set to 2.5 volts. Disconnect the Arduino board and also remove the wire. Now it's time to connect the pH sensor with the interface board. This small container already has the distilled water. This is how it looks after connecting the pH sensor with the interface board. The wiring remains the same. Now let's check its pH value. As you can see the Arduino is connected with the laptop. I'm going to upload this program to check the pH value. The program has been uploaded and now we can open the serial monitor. Although we did the calibration but still you can see the pH value is not exactly 7. As the water under test is the distilled water very pure distilled water that has had little contact with air will have a pH value between 6.9 and 7 but as you can see currently the value is little off this can be adjusted by changing the calibration value again upload the program Open the serial monitor. This time you can see the pH value of the distilled water is just perfect. The pH value is between 6.9 and 7. The pH value can be further adjusted by changing the calibration value. 
We are done with the calibration and now it's time to display the pH value on the OLED display module as it seems quite impractical to use the laptop or computer. Now we will take a look at the final circuit diagram then we will discuss the final code and then finally we will test the pH values of different liquids. The 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator is used to power up the Arduino Nano. J1 is the female DC power jig and this is where we connect the input power supply. You can connect any voltage source between 7 and 25 volts. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. These are the decoupling capacitors. The output voltage should be connected with the VN pin of the Arduino Nano. The 128 by 64 SSD 1306 I2C supported or early display module is connected with the Arduino Nano which is used to display the pH value. The SCL and SDA pins are connected with the A5 and A4 pins while the VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. The V plus pin of the pH sensor is connected with the 5 volt. The ground of the pH sensor is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino Nano. The analog output pin PO is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. Next I designed a PCB for the Arduino Nano which I will use as the development board. I added female headers for the 3.3 volt, 12 volt, 5 volt and ground. This area can be used as the Vero board for soldering other electronic components. I also added female headers on the left and right sides of the Arduino Nano for connecting the jumper wires. These are the PCBs I received from the all PCB company. As you can see the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the blue color solder mask looks amazing. Finally I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. This is how everything looks after soldering. Finally, I connected the pH sensor interface circuit with the Arduino Nano.
and I also connected the 128x64 OLED display module. Our interfacing is completed and now it's time to take a look at the Arduino programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is a very simple and basic program to find the pH value of different liquids. For the complete explanation, read my article. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch the Arduino based pH meter in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.